What is going on guys? Shot here again from Fader Brotherhood. These metalhead dudes are already trying to sneak up on me and try to kill me. We are in the middle of the metalhead nest. Oh crap, we have to go fight the the metalhead leader who turned out to be core. So much shit happened in the last episode, guys. If you didn't see it, well, so much shit ain't, ain't gonna make sense. Pretty much everything I just said wasn't gonna make sense. God damn, where the fuck did this thing come from? Ah, oh, god damn it, this place is just filled with metalheads that I have never even seen before. Why? Why is it filled? Oh, cool. I didn't. I guess I never got that skull gem from that guy. Just die! Whoever, whoever this metalhead's following me. Oh, fuck off already. And this huge ass metalhead. Who, oh, cool. Another one I never got. Wow. Kind of sad that I never got these in this last in the last episode. Oh, these dudes are trying to follow me. God damn it, grab this stuff. And I'm getting the fuck out of here. I ain't fighting these guys. I already got their skull gems. I don't really need it. Uh, try to beat this guy, try to beat this guy, try to beat this guy. Yes. That stupid moth shithead. Oh, uh, that's where I fell into that pool of eco, so I'm not going to try that again. Oh, whoop. Nope, no, not following that. Wait, if they have so... Why do the metalheads need eco if they have so many right here? Wait, do they, do they eat dark eco? What kind of eco do they eat? Red or... Are there red eco and blue eco and, and yellow eco and green eco in this game, guys? I mean, Samos was in the stage yet, so I don't see how they can be green eco. And, uh... Uh, what, what else is there? Like, the blue red sage, they're gone. They have they have no, like, connection to this world as of yet. They I haven't seen them, so... They, I don't know how the fuck they're getting their eco. Maybe those plants that we saw growing out in the field, maybe they create eco. I don't know. It's, I don't know how the fuck how the f unless they're eating red um dark eco that's it they have so much dark eco in this time Gaul and Maya would have loved living here if that's how it was like seriously oh crap those things followed me holy shit all of those things followed me all the way from there even the big dude god damn it let me just grab this box real quick this has Vulcan ammo come on just keep breaking boxes for stuff Ooh, hell. oh god damn it I was about to get on my jet board and just get the fuck out of here yeah there we go whoops oh Ooh, more stuff. More. Ah, fuck. Die, assholes! Yeah! Yeah! Yeah, now they can't bug me. Let's get the fuck out of here. Go here, break this box. Come on, I don't need scatter shot ammo. I need, yes, I need the yellow eco ammo. Go over here. Here, if I fight the metalhead leader and I have shit on me, I'm gonna be fucking pissed. God damn it. Ooh, yep, that's where we shot the gun. Ooh. Wow, Mar had that gun set up perfectly, goddammit. Let's see, it goes straight through here, come on. We can make this- oh fuck, so many metalheads. Yeah, scatter shot these guys. Oh, actually, now this is where the scatter shot comes in use, because these guys die on one hit. Let's see, die! Oh, well, I'm just trying to get as much skull gems- ah, skull gem that I can't get, fuck. That guy almost tackled me, I hate him. Go over here. Come on, I think we're right, yep. Guys, this is probably going to be the finale of this series. I didn't even know it until now, but this is where we fight him. Finally, you've decided to join us. And you brought the precursor stone. Good. The boy will now play his final part. Not this time. Oh, but this child is such a part of this. Such a part of you. Don't you recognize him? The boy is you, Jack. And this place, this is where you began, in the future. But how? You were hidden in the past on the hope that you would gain the skills to face me today. But Onan was wrong. Now that you've been altered with Dark Eco, the stone will never open for you. Your younger self, however, still has the pure gift. He alone can awaken the stone and the precursor entity which sleeps inside. This stone is a precursor? The last precursor egg. Ma was clever. He covered his tracks well through time, hiding his last egg from me and building the shield and city to defend it. It has been a long siege, but today I will finally feed on the last precursor life force. Uh, I think you're forgetting one little thing, Metalomaniac. We've got the precursor stone. Not for long! Die! Holy crap, guys, we're at the finale of this game. Beating core and... Holy shit, that kid was Jack! Oh man, guys, what the hell? Heavy distortion. Of course it's a fucking heavy... Oh shit, he's got that... Blast thing that he used to kill bear practice with. I want these metalhead skull gems. That's why I'm just kind of, I'm kind of not really going into this fight right now. Hang on. Give me the, I want the skull gems first. Priority later first. Hang on. 
Nope, missed us. There we go. Gotta be careful. That thing has a blast radius too, so. We're going great. Shoot this guy. Thank you. Yeah, he's, yeah, he stops for now, like this little timeout thing. Come on, go here. Ah, oh, come on! Oh, no, I thought I. Well, oh, I thought I died the first hit, and that little piece of shit came back and hit me twice. Fuck that guy. Yeah! Ammo and shoot, just keep shooting. Come on! He's shooting out eggs. He, he can still kill him. There we go. We're good. Yeah! Oh wait, he's real dude. Fuck you guys. Fuck you guys. Fuck you guys. I hate you guys so much. Yeah! I know there's still more. There we go. Oh, he's got. Where the fuck are you guys coming from? You guys only appeared at the strip mine. Why are you guys here? The core fight is actually very easy for me as of right now. Wait, except for these little dudes and these fucking assholes. Just keep shooting, just keep shooting. Gotta get as much on um, yellow ammo as I can. There we go. Yeah. I'm definitely gonna kill him with dark jack, guys. Don't you worry about that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure some of you guys are gonna be hoping that I do. We go over here. Yeah. Aw, oh, shit. Oh shit, guys, he's back. He's now on the ground. He's gonna try to fucking kill me. Wait, why is he not receiving damage? Why is he not receiving damage? Wait, grab this, grab this, grab this, grab this. Oh, I know my life is in danger, but hang on. We're gonna keep grabbing. Nope, nope. Why aren't you getting hurt? Okay, there he is. Starting to take some damage. Oh, wait, my battery level controller is down. This is not the time for a game controller thingy. Oh, God. I know if I try to use Dark Jack now, it's not gonna kill him because he's so powerful in his red last state mode. Oh shit, he's gonna blast. Be careful about that blast, guys. Look, you see the little radius that goes Dark Jack mode. No, come on, transform! I wasn't transforming, and now I'm invincible now. So, Metal Core, you're on the run for me! Die! He should be dead. Yeah, he's good. Yes, he's dead. Oh, no, he's still moving. He's still moving, guys. I'm afraid your Rift Rider must be used to send young Jack here to a place where he will grow up safe from harm. He must become old enough to complete the destiny he has fulfilled today. Wait a minute. It's you. I, I mean, it's me. I have to take him back and watch over him, don't I? Ah, grub roots. Talk about being in the wrong time at the right place. Hey kid, you take care. Oh, and trust me on this. Stay away from any wumpy nest on your ninth birthday, okay? I sure hope I built this replica right. I don't know if it- It's perfect, Kira. This is the very machine we found, or will find later. What? I just built this. After seeing the first one, I mean. It's based on what I remember from the- Honey, the more you think about it, the more it hurts the head. I'll take good care of the child. And don't worry. I'll be back in time for the celebration. Farewell. Thanks, Samos. Without you... It's funny. The boy won't remember any of this. No. I do remember the light. Your transport is ready, milady. Thank you, Captain Bruder. Come on. We'll be late for the party at Daxter's new place. I've got so much work to do. Besides, it's not my thing. Ten Hut! As the new governor of this city, I order the commander of the New Crimson Guard to escort me to an official function. Is that understood? Yes, sir. I mean, yes, ma'am. I mean... You can start rebuilding the city tomorrow. Tonight, we get to celebrate with our new friends. Besides, tough guy, I'm dying to see you dance. Not likely. Welcome to the Nariatsu! The hippest, happiest, happiest joint in town! Check out the new decor! Ooh, what a big trophy! As if size matters. I bagged that bad boy myself, baby. Onan says she doesn't know who has a bigger head, him or you. We must not forget Vin and all the others who sacrificed their lives to defeat this evil and protect the child. I still can't believe that little boy was me. Better times, huh? You miss him, huh? You know, the kid grows up to be a handsome hero. Hey! That's enough for you, lady! I'm cutting you off! Trust me, she gets real mean when she's like this. What'd she say? 
Something about rubber tubing and certain parts of your mother. You don't want to know. Ah! A metalhead! Sig! Sig! I knew that. You're okay. You cherries didn't think some nasty breath giant-sized lizard was going to keep me from the biggest party in town, did you? I knew you were too tough for him, big guy. You saved the city and more, my boy. Metal Core and his menace are history, and somewhere out there, an ancient race has begun again. I'm just glad to be back home. Yeah, well, rest up. We've got a lot to do, and so much time to do it here. Don't say time. The rift ring was destroyed, remember? You know, my mama used to read bedtime stories about Mar when she tucked me in. She'd give me a nice glass of warm yak cow milk, a little poopsie bear. Bedtime stories? Warm milk? Poopsie bear? Buddy, you just blew your image. I've got a feeling we'll meet Mar someday. He may be closer than you think. You're the designated driver. Oh, no. I am done with adventure. Besides, you'll tell us before something happens next time, right, Samos? Right, Samos? You never know what the future may hold. Wait. You know something, don't you, Feather Breath? Who? Me? Ah, uh, no. We're just uh, guessing. Right, Samos? Hey, tomorrow, only time will tell. No, you're gonna tell right now! Why <laughs> you little... Jack, my boy, the future awaits. In memory of Morgan, I don't know. Who, I think that was the 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 mascot for uh, Naughty Dog. The, the dog who's based off of, I think that was when it was from. But this is the end of the game, guys. This finale was awesome as hell. We killed Kor with Dark Jack mode invincible. He ran away from us at the very end. He killed himself by trying to escape through the rift ring. But he ended up hitting his head and not even getting through it. And the portal killed him, basically. We saved the flask precursor. The boy turned out to be young Jack. Fucking awesome twist. I, when I first played this game and I saw that... You don't know how fucking surprised that was. Like, god damn, it's like, no wonder the kid looked just like that. There are so many things in this game that reference the future. Crew's betrayal, um, Sig being a badass and all this stuff. Um, it's like, it's so many things. Like, even, um, Kor's, like, all the things Kor does. The very first time we meet Kor, why does he suddenly come up to us and start talking? Why does he already have the kid with him? So many things, too. And every time he's been asking, when we first even mentioned the Metalhead leader, Kor was surprised. He wanted to make sure that we didn't see him. That was so, aw, oh, man. And then every time we told him, like, he, he was just undermining the Baron just so he could get, um, closer to the city, turn down the shield walls. Fuck, man, so much shit happened. Oh man, let me see if I can actually like hold X. And, oh wait, whoops. I I clicked X and oh wow, so cutscene's over, I guess. Okay, well that was the credits, guys, and so many things right there. Oh man, and this game is over. Well, I could always do the bonus side missions, but you you know I'm really not the type of person to do that that, that stuff, guys. I I really would rather not, because it's it sucks to collect everything. Oh man, Paul did it. If you guys want to actually go see that one, I was surprised as hell the fact that Paul could do all this stuff. He collected all the precursor orbs. He got every single one. So fucking cool. I might link that in the description below if you guys want to see the side missions. And actually, because I so I know a lot of you guys like want want to see something that Paul did. Well, that's a good thing to see the Jack Two um, version that Paul did, where he actually got everything at the end. Uh, he also, I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to collect the precursor orbs in the story, because then that'll fuck you up when you're trying to collect them at the end of the game. Well, ah, oh, well, I did that anyway, now I'm screwed. But yeah, there's so many things in this game that um, had foreshadowed. You remember when um, the, the kid gave Jack the pass that um, Kor had for the city when we first brought him to Kor? After Samos told us, that, told us that we had to? He and Jack both gave each and there was that slow-mo, like, t um, taking away from the hand thing. That was, like, their own little trust going on there. So it was so fucking cool. So that means Jack is the heir to the city. He he basically this is his city. God damn it! That's basically everything is his. We own it all. And also, ja um, Daxter even took over the Hip Hog Saloon that used to be here. Now it is the Naughty Hustle. And let me just get out of here so I can see. Also, someone kept telling me that I could turn into first person mode. I remember that being something, but I don't think it was in this game. I think it was in Jack. Three, which was also referenced at the end of this game. Jack 3. 
which is so fucking cool because now there's like so much even Samos is trying to hide the fact that there might be a game they might this is probably where they're just saying there might be an, a, um, a, another sequel to this game or another or another game at all like that's what the that's what the end of these games would basically say but so fucking cool so Kira built the very machine that they use so that's time travel shit right there so Kira built the very device that they found later that they thought was precursor technology so she built all that stuff so that means she's fucking she's a fucking genius god damn it and also Samos oh god I don't know how to feel about Samos because this is the biggest thing that I have a problem with the fact that Samos does he knows everything that's going to happen Jack forgets he's a child it's okay but Samos knows everything that's going to happen he could change so many things things that shouldn't have to happen he could warn the other sages about what's gonna happen he could warn everyone in the city that what's about to happen that the whole um fact wait uh, the whole fact that the city's about to get destroyed by metalheads he could he could do all that stuff he could stop daxter from becoming an otzel he could actually do all this stuff but he chose not to i mean it's it's purposely meant so that he doesn't destroy the future or whatever the hell like that i mean that's that's uh, that's like the fault thing here like he can't do anything because then he's gonna mess up the future but he had to he could have tried something and didn't even warn anybody about that the beginning of the game it starts off with um him saying as soon as that rip portal opens he says so this is how it happened that's young samos finally becoming old samos and learning about exactly how the f events happened god damn time travel it adds so many things like are you the same person so and, and when you see the samos is together it's young samos and old samos technically when it's like uh when it's when the, the samos we know the one with the log in his head like that's young and old Samos at the exact same time. Young Samos who's been through everything has become old Samos, and he's trying to tell you young Samos to just fuck off and listen to him. God damn it! But yeah, Samos could do so many things, but he chose not to, which is why I don't know if he's a good guy or a bad guy for doing it. It's like, ah, damn. And then he even says that the um, one they're flying through the ring, find yourself, Jack. He's telling him to find his younger version. Even if that's a vague message, that's what he means. There's so many foreshadowing references in these games, guys. It's just so awesome. This is Unit Alpha. We're hey, I wonder, are the Metalheads still attacking the city? or have, Do we have a contain? Oh, fuck no. Well, I think we have contained maybe a little bit. Come on, so let me jump, do an epic high jump to get this a bike. Yes. Well, not a bike, it's a car, but still. Oh, man. This, this game, guys, so fucking awesome. This is what the Jack and Daxton movie needs to be. Exactly what it needs to be. It's so fucking cool. Oh. Did not mean to do that, alright, but yeah. Uh, yeah, it's exactly what it should be. Jack 2 should be the story because that's when Jack actually gets his voice. He can do some voice acting and all this stuff. Jack 1 can easily be summarized up in all that stuff. That's just like, wow. But if this is the. F Jack was born in the future, sent to the past. So that technically means Jack's. Like, I mean, like, you see how Samos was in the past and he knew everything that was going on? That means technically Samos was going to be born in the past, right? Or the future. Wait, I, I, I don't know, time travel is hurting my head because that means Samos is alive. He could have accidentally married his own mother. That, that That's something that could have happened. That would have been scary. And you don't know what the how do, How does he know, like, all this stuff that's gonna... He knows everything that should happen. Yeah, well, except he doesn't know about Gaul and Maya. That and all their like evilness i'm pretty sure to know that he knew only about this timeline and all the stuff that happened here let me see yeah oh yes i can play this game now if i want to this will actually even procure swords if i remember oh let me see all these metalhead skulls on the i mean ooh, yeah dax had changed it to all the pictures too it's no longer like with crew oh he kept that picture i'm pretty sure that picture is the same but yeah he changed Ooh, wow this are, some of these metalheads look exactly the same some of them are not all around this place and wait where's the giant ass core trophy come on i want to see it Ah, oh, the core trophy's not here. But Dax had changed the big ass switch to him holding like Jack's gun, but where, where's the core trophy? You think it would be here? Uh, I guess it's not. Ah, oh, well. Hey, Sig, anybody? No one's here. This place is pretty cool. I would love to see one of these places in real life. A boxing match? Or wait, nope. That is a stripper pole. Yep. Wow, my childhood is ruined. Just realized this is a stripper pole. Holy crap. God damn it. This is. Oh god, I just realized what this place is. Are you kidding me? I just realized that. Okay, now I'm a bartender. Yep. This is how we're going to end off the episode, guys. We can finally relax. Everything is safe and sound. The kid will grow up to be Jack. Daxter still becomes an Otzel because Samos chooses not to save him. Oh, man. Just so fucking awesome. Even And Jack and Kira didn't even get to kiss in this game, too. That's basically what they've been waiting for. Oh, man. 
And Odin, <laughs> Odin got drunk and started me messing with everybody. Such a fucking awesome game, guys. Even Dax and Pekka. Whoa, everything, everything was shaking for a second. That was that was weird. All right. Oh wait, it's it's shaking. No, I guess because I, I was like getting too close to the stand thing. Ah oh, well. But oh, mirror awesomeness. Wait, also oh, wait, dark jack mode. Yes, dark jack mode. That was a fucking epic when he rised out of the damn rocks and fucking. T oh, that was that was badass. That was a, that proves that dark jack mode was useful in this game. Uh, I gotta thank Bearing Practice for that at least, but so many fucking awesomeness about this game, guys. This is practically where it all started, isn't it? Wait. Okay, uh, this, oh yeah, the Crimson Guards aren't gonna fuck with me now. Well, I, if I mess with them, they're probably gonna tackle me and all that stuff, but I'm a hero to the city. They can't mess with me. This guy can't do anything either. You see his eyes, he's just like, he's the hero of the city, he's gonna steal my car. Oh man, guys, let me just get, get off there. Yeah, just let the guy go on his way. Anyway, guys, I'm Sean from Fatal Brotherhood. This has been Jack 2, one of the greatest games I've ever played. If you guys want me to get the Precursor Orbs, Please don't want me to get the Precursor Orb, guys. I'd have to do all these little side missions. Let me check the map real quick. Okay, there we go. So many of them. Oh, God, that's a lot. I thought there was actually a lot less than that, but still so many. And there's so many Precursor Orbs. I don't want to go through that. I don't want to do it. Don't make me, guys. It's horrible. I don't know how Paul could do it. Paul did it, and he was so sad about it later because he's like, so many things. All right, mission's completed. Everything we did, how many, you guys probably count this, how many missions we've done. God damn. Escort kids to the power station, find pumping station patrol, pumping station valve, and escape the fortress. Why does it keep letting me go down? Like, just to stop there, that's kind of weird. Alright, but this is escaped from the fortress and we went all the way up from there. God damn, that's been a long ass journey. Even some put in the comments, I'm pretty sure it said in the, how long is... Okay, so the secrets are here. They get unlocked after you get the um, Precursor Orbs, but yes. as With more Precursor Orbs I get, the more I unlock. Scene players are basically cutscenes. You have to get more Precursor Orbs to unlock them. Reverse races, level select. Basically, I think I can do missions over again. Unlimited ammo, unlimited dark jack, and vulnerability. You know what? I should have gotten the Precursor Orbs at the beginning of the game. That's what I should have done. If I had gotten that at the beginning of the game and I had done this so I can get to core with unlimited ammo, unlimited dark jack, and invulnerability, why the fuck wasn't I collecting Precursor Orbs at the beginning of the game? God damn it! Ah, oh, shit. Why do I always choose the crap decisions? God damn it. That fucking sucks. Anyway, scene players. I only have the first one unlocked by how many I have. I have 73. I'm so close to getting the Vulcan Fury course, but still. Ah, <sighs> big head mode. Basically, in all the cutscenes and also in the game, my head is huge. Let me turn this on real quick, just have some fun. I could turn off Jack's goatee. Like, it, his goatee makes him look cool, so I don't want to turn that off. But Mirror World, I can reverse everything. Let's see what happens. Let's go. Secrets. Yep. Now it's everything is, like, switched around. Let's see. Yep. The Hippog Lagoon is over on that side. That thing's over there. My head is big. Yeah. yeah. This Crimson Guard dude doesn't know how to fucking react to me. Yep, it's huge as hell. Daxer is in my hair, my long flowing hair. Feel jealous, I am a Super Saiyan 3. Except my head gets bigger and my hair. That's kind of sad. All right, let me see secrets again. I'll flip the world back to how it was. Big head mode off, small head mode, let's go. See how, like, what happened here. Check it out. God damn, that is disturbing. That, that is horrible. This looks like Plankton from the new Spongebob movie. It really does. If you guys watch the trailer for that. Oh crap. And Daxter's doing some mime air, like holding onto the air thing. And goddamn, Jack, you are brolic and tall as hell considering your head size. Reminds me of Eddie and Eddie of that episode where they shrug Eddie's head when he had that huge ass pimple or boil, whatever the fuck it was. Turn this off. There we go. And Jack is back to normal, guys. Fucking awesome. Ah, this was such a great game. As always, guys, stay gold. I hope you guys enjoyed this series. It was so fucking awesome. Hope you guys will stay with me as we go to the next game, Jack 3. Fucking awesome, guys. Oh, yeah, by the way, just letting you guys know now, in Jack 3, when you guys see when they choose, like, you can choose which game you want to play to, Jack 1, Jack 2, Jack 3, I actually have an 80% on Jack 3. That was because before, I already had an, a file saved there, and that's why it says 80% already. So don't feel alarmed if I start up Jack 3 and it says 80%. That's not what exactly I meant to happen, but yeah. So I'm gonna press. New, I'm gonna start a new game on that game, obviously. But it'll say 80% when it's not supposed to. I'll probably explain this in the same episode again, but it, it, that's what I'm saying, guys. 
as always, I hope you guys enjoyed the series. You guys have been awesome subscribers. I hope, you, and you guys have just been nothing but like supportive. So I really enjoy. You guys are just fucking awesome, guys. As always, stay gold, and yeah, peace, guys. Fucking awesome.